In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Today is the feast day of St. Teresa of Avila. She was born in the year 1515. At 20 years of age, she entered the Carmelite convent there and then became ex extremely ill for a period of three years. Uh, she was partly in a coma and she was also partly paralysed. But emerging from that illness, she became a radical force for the renewal of the Carmelite order and across the remainder of her lifetime often working with St John of the Cross she established new monasteries and convents uh, around about 30 of them all in all. She was a mystic and a spiritual writer and she describes a state of uh, contemplation somewhere between meditation and ecstasy. She was a remarkable woman. Uh, she gives a lie to the viewpoint that contemplative life and practical actions are incompatible. She says this, Accustom yourself continually to make many acts of love, for they enkindle and melt the soul. So we give thanks to God for her, for her writings, for her example. And at the beginning of this Mass, we call to mind our lack of love for our neighbour, our lack of love for God. And we ask for grace that through the prayers of St Teresa of Avila, we may become more Christ-like. You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us at the Father's right hand, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Merciful God, who by your Spirit raised up your servant Teresa of Avila to reveal to your Church the way of perfection, grant that her teaching may awaken in us a longing for holiness until we attain to the perfect union of love in Jesus Christ your Son our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the first letter, from the letter of Paul to the Romans. From the beginning till now, the entire creation, as we know, has been groaning in one great act of giving birth, and not only creation, but all of us who possess the first fruits of the Spirit, we too groan inwardly as we wait for our bodies to be set free. For we must be content to hope that we shall be saved. Our salvation is not in sight. We should not have to be hoping for it if it were, but as I say, we must hope to be saved since we are not saved yet. It is something we must wait for with patience. The Spirit too comes to help us in our weakness. For when we cannot choose words in order to pray properly, the Spirit himself expresses our plea in a way that could never be put into words. And God, who knows everything in our hearts, knows perfectly well what he means 
and that the pleas of the saints expressed by the Spirit are according to the mind of God. Your words are Spirit, Lord, and they are life. The law of the Lord is perfect, it revives the soul. The rule of the Lord is to be trusted, it gives wisdom to the simple. Your words are Spirit, Lord, and they are life. The precepts of the Lord are right, they gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, it gives light to the eyes. Your words are Spirit, Lord, and they are life. The fear of the Lord is holy, abiding for ever. The decrees of the Lord are truth, and all of them just. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. They are more to be desired than gold, than the purest of gold, and sweeter are they than honey, than honey from the comb. Your words are spirit, Lord, and they are life. Alleluia, alleluia, remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, with me in him, bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that bears no fruit he cuts away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes to make it bear even more. You are pruned already by means of the word that I have spoken to you. Make your home in me as I make mine in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself but must remain part of the vine, neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me, with me in him, bears fruit in plenty. But cut off from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that's been thrown away. He withers. These branches are collected and thrown on the fire, and they are burnt. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will, and you shall get it. It is to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit, and then you will be my disciples. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So we pray that we may grow in our relationship with Jesus that we may place him at the centre of our lives and contemplate his wondrous saving love for us. And on this day we remember all those in our world who are members of the Carmelite Order. We give thanks to God for them, for their prayers for us. We pray for all who will worship in Avila today on Teresa's feast day. We continue our prayers for our world and our communities at this time of the pandemic. We remember all who suffer from and with the disease all those in the front line seeking to come to their help. All those who are isolating and shielding at home. We pray especially for students and young people bearing this burden for all of us in these wearying times. So for ourselves, for all those around us, for all who suffer, this prayer of Teresa of Avila. Let nothing disturb thee, nothing affright thee. All things are passing, God, 
never changes. Faithful endurance attains unto all things, whom God possesses in nothing is wanting. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. May our offerings, O Lord, be acceptable to your majesty, to whom the devoted service of St. Teresa was pleasing in such great measure through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and eternal God for you are praised in the company of your saints and in crowning their merits you crown your own gifts by their way of life you offer us an example by communion with them you give us companionship by their intercession sure support so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses we may run as victors in the race before us and with them and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through christ our lord therefore with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven we proclaim your great and glorious name for ever praising you and saying holy Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice, made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, 
with the Apostles, with St John our Patron, with Teresa of Avila and John of the Cross and all the saints. May praise and glorify you for ever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the Holy Spirit all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever, Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Corpus Christi, make us study at him, we have it. I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Through all ages, my mouth will proclaim your fidelity. God of truth, whose wisdom set her table and invited us to eat the bread and drink the wine of the kingdom, help us to lay aside all foolishness and to live and walk in the way of insight, that we may come with Teresa of Avila to the eternal feast of heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.